Good morning, everybody. This is uh, Rosie. And this is Rosie who is still mad at me because I tried to adjust her collar so it wasn't so tight. She hasn't forgiven me, despite numerous attempts with cookies and even singing to her a little bit ago. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, this video is not about Rosie. Oh, and by the way, her collar isn't so tight that it's cutting off the air. It's just snug because of her wool growth. So she's fine. She will be fine until shearing. I was just trying to help Rosie. Yes, I was. Yeah. He says, no, you weren't. You were trying to kill me. It was murdering day. I just know it. Yeah, no, we we don't do murder day. No. <laughs> okay, so anyway, look at that. I can't wait to get that processed. Okay, so this video is actually about flock in a box. <clears throat> I thought that I would tell you guys exactly what's going to be in the boxes. And, of course, when they're listed on Saturday in the store, there will be a list and there will be pictures of everything. But I am just super, super excited to tell you about everything that's going to be in there. Okay, the first thing, obviously, is you're getting a flock in a box. Da-da-da! Radigas came down to illustrate how awesome this is. He's pretty awesome. You will get one ounce of roving from each of the nine fellow sheep. So you're getting nine ounces of roving. And you are going to get these beautiful pewter buttons that were made by Jim from Ramshorn Studio. Uh, Jim Boyle is the guy who makes these. He does custom buttons, and well, obviously, because that's what I had him do. But he also has... <laughs> this is the video of sheet butts today, apparently. Anyway, if you go to his website, and I'm pretty sure it's just Ram's Horn Studio, you can do a Google search, you can see all the different uh, buttons he has available in his shop, and they are gorgeous. So what I had him do is make buttons with an image of Mikey. And for those of you who don't know, Mikey was one of the original trio who started Blaine Fleece and Fiber. He was uh, Panda Bear's twin they actually had were a set of triplets when they were born but he was panda bear's full brother and we lost him three years ago um but he for me he was the inspiration behind that the logo that silhouette um lo uh, uh, la, 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 uh, the silhouette logo in the blaine fleece and fiber logo that's what i'm trying to say i think and I just wanted to, I wanted to honor Mikey as part of our fifth year celebration um, and have him be part of Flock in a Box. So you will get five of those beautiful pewter buttons, which will look amazing on a sweater or a cowl or anything, really. Okay, then you're going to get, and this is really super fun, um, you're going to get a bar of goat's milk soap, which was made by... Uh, my friend Charlene of Meadowlark Heritage Farm, and she lives just like two miles away from me. It's so... <sighs> this is what he does now. Because his noggin itches and because I think he thinks he's dominant. Yeah, you need to stop it. You do not boss me around, young man. Oh, okay, you got cookies. Right. Don't you do that. Don't you do it. No, no. Oh, I don't like that word. Okay, bar of soap made by my friend Charlene of Meadowlark Heritage Farm. And she has a website too. You should check it out. You can order soap from her. But this soap that she did for us is a custom scent called Paradise Ridge Wildflowers. And it is amazing. It, it came out exactly how I wanted it to smell. There are notes of lilac and um, honeysuckle. And it's just absolutely delicious. You could eat it, I swear. No, I'm just kidding. It's soap. But she makes all of these soaps. You're going to get in trouble. Yes, it's like having toddlers. It's like, don't mind me while... No, stop it. That is a no. Okay. <sighs> He's 
got to itch. Okay, real... Oh, see, this is what I'm going through with him now. No. Absolutely not. If I were stronger, I would flip him on his butt, because that's a good way to get sheep to be submissive. But I can't handle him like that, so I have to just be firm and push him away and tell him no. Like he's a bad dog or what are we are we gonna fight really you better not i'll go get daddy okay <laughs> just started peeing oh this is such a lame video okay so uh charlene makes all of her soaps from the goat from her goat's uh milk and if you go to her website like i said you'll see her soaps for sale and lotions and creams and also just adorable beautiful pictures of her goats in her farm so meadowlark heritage farm every flock in a box will include a bar of paradise ridge wildflower soap uh, there will also be of course because i always have to do this for events um, a pin back button a special flock in a box 2020 pin back button no that time he got a glove slap to the face so that stopped him erg like I said, I'm looking forward to him being a middle-aged sheep who maybe outgrows this nonsense. Um, okay, so we talked about you're getting roving from everybody. You're getting the five buttons. You're getting the beautiful soap from Meadowlark. And the pinback button uh, that's specially made for Flock in a Box. And then, and this is the kind of the piece de resistance, uh, my friend Jennifer Spears made project bags, and uh, she ordered special custom fabric from Spoonflower Fabrics, where you can design, literally design your own fabric. And these are special Blaine Fleece and Fiber project bags. They are thick and lovely. They're lined with just adorable polka dot fabric. Uh, they have little sheepy charms on them. They are absolutely gorgeous and so every flock in a box will include one of those and at this time that is the only way to be able to purchase one of to, to have one of those uh, project bags um, I only had her made enough make sorry I'm not talking well I only had her make enough uh, for the 15 flock in flock in boxes that I'm selling my husband and I had a conversation about how you would pluralize flock in a box so we're pretty sure it's flock in boxes because it's not multiple flocks in a box yeah oh man i should not make videos before coffee and when radagast is being a poop it distracts me so again you're going to get an amazing plethora of fun goodies in addition to the nine ounces of roving from the fellow sheep so once i get everything photographed i'll do one last uh you know post about it probably on instagram and in the ravelry group and then just make sure you know there are only going to be 15 available and they go on sale promptly at 10 o'clock in the morning pacific time and we're on daylight savings time now so pacific time this saturday march 21st 10 a.m pacific so I'm just, I am so excited. I have been planning and plotting this for so many months and now it's finally time and I'm excited to show you all the, the completed pictures and just to get these out to folks who are going to really love this part of our fifth year celebration. I am also uh, getting ready to place a t-shirt order so that we have t-shirts for this year. And uh, those won't be ready for a while, especially with all the coronavirus stuff going on. I'm not sure, you know, how delayed that will be, but that'll be something fun, probably getting close to summer. There will be a couple different colors um, available to choose from of Blaine Fleece and Fiber shirts. So thank you for listening to this video as I reprimanded my naughty sheep and complained about Rosie not liking me anymore. <laughs> She'll get over it. She will eventually forget it especially once she has to go through sharing and everybody's kind of handling her yeah she'll get over it real quick so 
and then they'll be able to go graze down the hill and things will be much nicer for little Rosie. But everybody here is doing well. I hope you guys are all staying safe. Please stay home if you can. Um, I know everybody's saying that and there's talk back and forth about how serious things are right now. If it's not serious, if it is serious, I'm of the opinion that it's serious and I'm basing that opinion on what I've read about the science behind it. Um, so please, please stay home um, and just stay safe and watch out for your for your friends and neighbors who who might be in the the category of people who can't who just cannot afford to be um, you know uh, exposed that's the word I'm looking for exposed to this just be smart be safe take care of yourselves and take care of each other and thank you for listening look forward to sharing flock in a box with you on Saturday okay bye bye